Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs, and Turnbull Insurance Service since 1866 present Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. Welcome to our new viewers in Oxford, Sydney, Bainbridge, and Guilford, watching on Oxford Cable. Good morning and welcome to Mohawk Valley Living. Today we're going to be touring all over the area, including Genesee Street, very historic Genesee Street. So stay tuned. Hearts of all mankind, lapping up the misery, filled us through our mind. Way for the color we promised once again. Leave me in the beauty of our sin. Don't leave me here, I'm on the shadow. Don't lay me down. Later this week, Utica College and the players of Utica present. Fighting and Dancing with Shakespeare, a selection of nine scenes from Shakespeare's more popular plays. Evening performances Thursday through Saturday with a Sunday matinee at Strebel Auditorium at Utica College. It's time for the Skinner and Demulis road trip. We stop into Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs where Dan has a brand new Dodge Dart waiting to go. This week we continue our tour of historic Genesee Street in Utica. Back in 1794, the trail that led south connecting the Mohawk, Oneida, and Seneca lands was called Genesee, the Seneca word for Pleasant Valley. We start our trip at St. Elizabeth's Hospital. In 1866, the hospital was founded in a small house on Columbia Street by the Sisters of the Order of St. Francis. The hospital grew through the years under the guidance of the founding sisters. One of those sisters, Mother Marianne Cope, has been declared a saint. She was born in uh, Germany. I came here when she was only two years old, lived in Schuyler Street, uh, in downtown Utica. Uh, but she joined the Sisters of St. Francis in 1862, shortly after her father passed away, and as a very, very young woman helped found our hospital. But uh, what's really exciting what's going on right now is all the good works of now St. Marianne uh, are being recognized and honored. Uh, Pope Benedict XVI uh, is canonizing St. Marianne on the 21st of this month in Rome. And I'm really fortunate that myself and actually four other employees and uh, quite a few of our sisters are going to be able to go to Rome and attend the canonization. St. Marianne Cope was celebrated last month with a special mass. A new statue was unveiled and carried in procession from St. Joseph's and St. Patrick's Church to her childhood home on Schuyler Street in Utica. I grab my umbrella and try to brave the rain. I grab my umbrella and try to brave the rain. We continue down Genesee Street to Oneida Square, where we bump into some friends of Richards who point out some of the area's historic buildings. I am on the circle in Oneida Square uh, at Vintage Furnishings. They've been here for 31 years. Uh, this place is filled with all kinds of memorable items. Uh, for example, Watkins products. I sold those door to door to work my way through college way back when. And I understand that some things here are considered antiques and they're from the 1940s. I guess since I was born in the 1940s, that makes me an antique. Yeah. Vintage Furnishings is located just off the circle at Oneida Square at 337 Genesee Street or online at vintagefern.com. Across the street, we can see the beautiful cupola that is familiar to anyone traveling Genesee Street. It is the crown of the great Ukrainian Catholic Church of St. Voldemir, where members are busy preparing for their annual Ukrainian festival. Church originally was founded, um, or the Ukrainian parish was pretty much put together or organized back in uh, 1950, 1951, when there was a large influx of Ukrainian immigrants, uh, political refugees after the Second World War. And we originally started our parish on State Street, uh, which is where the uh, Players Theater now is located. We have a festival coming up on October 19th and 20th, which is a Friday and a Saturday. 
and basically it's to expose the uh, local area to our Ukrainian culture. Uh, we've been doing it for a number of years. Uh, Utica is a melting pot with various different cultures and we want to be part of that uh, scene and let people know that we're still active, that we have an active, vibrant community and expose people to our culture by our dances, our um, uh, artifacts, our uh, different things that we do, and of course our food. St. Vladimir's Church, I mean you have to see it from the inside. It is Byzantine style to look at all of this artwork and then to realize that what you're looking at was painted on canvas in Yonkers. It was rolled up brought here and then attached to the walls. Uh, really, I, I can't emphasize enough. It's the perfect reason to come to this year's festival, just to see this church from the inside. You're invited to the St. Voldemir Ukrainian Festival on Friday and Saturday, October 19th and 20th. There will be ethnic food like pierogies and galumpki, cultural exhibits, dancers, games, and arts and crafts. And be sure to tour marvelous St. Voldemir Church. Later in the show, more from our tour of Genesee Street in Utica. Mohawk Valley Living is now on Fox 33, every Sunday at 7.30 a.m. and 11 o'clock p.m., followed by an encore presentation. Watch Mohawk Valley Living, exploring the arts, culture, and heritage of our region. Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis. Come in and check out the exciting new 2013 Dodge Dart. Test drive this groundbreaking compact sedan with Dodge performance and style. See what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs. You go the extra mile for your small business and should expect the same from your insurance company. For over 140 years, Turnbull Insurance Service has been committed to local small business. For your commercial coverage, turn to the company ready to go that extra mile. Turn to Turnbull. Visit Fenimore Art Museum in Cooperstown for Tasha Tudor around the year. With over a hundred outstanding examples of this beloved author and illustrator's original art. A heartwarming exhibit from the Norman Rockwell Museum, on view through December 31st. Kick off your holiday shopping at the 36th Herkimer County Arts and Crafts Fair, Saturday and Sunday, November 10th and 11th. This juried show is one of the area's largest, with folk art, glassware, wood furniture, specialty foods, and more, on the HCCC campus, November 10th and 11th. Are you going to be shocked by your heating bills this winter? Hi, I'm Tom from Herkimer Home and Leisure, and we're here to help you lower your heating bill. Come in and check out our brand new showroom with a huge selection of wood, pellet, and gas stoves, including Heat and Glow, Yodel, Hearthstone, Lopi, and Harmon. Turn your old inefficient fireplace into a beautiful centerpiece with a wood, pellet, or gas insert. Herkimer Home and Leisure, five miles north of Herkimer on Route 28, Oberly Road. Tom's Natural Foods is your connection to local farms for natural and organic fruits and vegetables, meats, eggs, cheeses, and other milk products at Tom's Natural Foods in Clinton, naturally. Special thanks to Turnbull Insurance Service and Mark and Jim Turnbull. Their continued support makes the show possible. We continue our trip along Genesee Street with a walking tour of downtown Utica. We are happily greeted along the way by fans of the show and fans of Utica. We stop in to a local landmark, the s and Electric Shaver Center, a curious shop that has a small town neighborhood feel. We find the owner, Jim Creedon, at work. At what else? Fixing an electric shaver. And as hard as it was for us to believe, customers were stopping in with their favorite shavers in need of fixing, sharpening, or a tune-up. You can come to s and Shaver to have your uh, shavers sharpened. And if you happen to have any sheep around the house, uh, you can have 
Uh, this uh, repaired here, it's a Sunbeam Stewart uh, Sheep Shearing Shearmaster. Did I get that right? That's it. Uh, the business has been here, I actually moved the business here uh, 1991, 92 in that area, so it's been 20 years. And where was it before? It was right up the street where the uh, sub shop is. It was about 200, 300 feet up the oh, street. Oh, you moved far. No, I'm downhill. <laughs> um, I got in this business, I was an unemployed woodcutter one winter, and uh, an acquaintance and a friend of mine, he, uh, he wanted someone to run his electric shaver shop because uh, the person who was running it was going to go into uh, television and radio. And uh, so he trained me, and the young man that was getting done, he trained me, and uh, I started. If your electric shaver is on the blink, don't give up on it. Bring it to the electric shaver expert at s and Electric Shaver Center at 228 Genesee Street. If he can't fix it, you're out of luck. I am standing in front of Antiques and Such. They have three floors of antiques in that place, and they're across the street from, to me, it's the Woolworth Building. Woolworth started here in Utica in 1879, and the building over there was uh, opened in 1915. Fortunately for all of us, it has recently been purchased and will continue to be a vibrant part of downtown Utica. Antiques and Such is located at 176 Genesee Street in Utica and is open Monday through Saturday, 10 to 6. The Triangle here in downtown Utica is a very popular place, hard to find a seat. But today we were driving by and we saw that there were a few stools that were available. So we went in for lunch and as might be expected, the food was terrific. And there were the usual lineup of interesting people, everything from the locals to judges. Uh, so my only recommendation is when you come down to downtown Utica, pop in the triangle. It's been here for 50 years. I was working. I was working for a company that I was. I was spending a lot of time on the, on the road, and, uh, and I was away from home. I thought too much, so I looked for something that was uh, going to keep me keep me stable and quiet, <laughs> and not in trouble. <laughs> now you've been here a long time, so you probably know everybody in town here. Everybody, yes. Oh, we, we you know, yeah. And most everybody that comes in. We have we have strangers that will come in on a Saturday and. And kind of, do you know everybody that comes in? Well, we don't know you yet, but <laughs> if you stay here long enough, we will. Have a taste of downtown Utica at the Triangle Coffee Shop. Open Monday through Friday from 7 to 3 for breakfast and lunch, and Saturdays for breakfast at 244 Genesee Street. Traveling around the Mohawk Valley, we're going on a road trip. In 1866, James B. Turnbull walked to farms and villages to visit his customers, earning their trust. Today, the fourth generation of Turnbulls continue that dedication, tailoring a life insurance plan to suit your unique needs and priorities. Turn to the company that is out there to earn your trust. Turn to Turnbull. Be sure to visit the 31st Annual Adirondacks National Exhibition of American Watercolors, ranked one of the best watercolor exhibitions in the country, featuring works from the top living painters in North America. View is open seven days a week in Old Forge. Visit the exhibits at the United Community Mansion House. On display, the braidings of Jessie Catherine Kinsley, the needlework of the United Community Women, and Lady Hamilton tableware. Tour the exhibits and the gardens at the Oneida Community Mansion House in Oneida. For centuries, Sharon Springs has been a destination for replenishing body and spirit. Discover the magic yourself. Enjoy dining at fabulous cafes and restaurants. Browse quaint shops and meet skilled artisans. Explore the history and magic of Sharon Springs on scenic routes 10 and 20. Hi, Dr. Tom. Bringing your cat to the Paris Hill Cat Hospitals on Sundays is a part of Mohawk Valley Living. Come inside and see why. Paris Hill Cat Hospital, this is Lindsay. How can I help you? Your cat is losing weight and you need an appointment and you're only available on the weekend. Sure, I have an appointment Sunday with Dr. Karen. Does that fit into your schedule? Okay, we'll see you then. Thank you. 
We're open seven days a week because we know that your cat can become ill anytime. The Paris Hill Cat Hospital, quality care for your cats and kittens. Shop the Little Falls Antique Center and the shops at 25 West with over 40 local vendors. Visit the new shops like Wisteria Lane featuring eco-friendly farmhouse laundry soap. Explore the new antique vendors upstairs and stock up on the season's jams and jellies from Homespun Memories. Come celebrate the center's 16th anniversary Sunday, October 14th. Many vendors will be on hand with refreshments and 16% off merchandise. Shop local at the Little Falls Antique Center and the shops at 25 West at Canal Place in Little Falls. Milan's Meat Market is your meat headquarters, featuring low-salt, low-fat smoked ham and store-made kielbasa. Every hot dog, beef patty, and sausage is made by Bob Milan himself. You'll find everything from store-made meats to fresh salads and tabbouleh at Milan's Meat Market in Clark Mills. There's something in you Just can't explain Bring the sun this week, we head to the heart of Otsego County, the town of Hartwick. It is named for the Lutheran minister who bought the land with the vision to build a new Jerusalem. To learn more, we visit the Kinney Memorial Library, which is also home to the Hartwick Historical Society. We are in the Kinney Memorial Library on Main Street, and uh, it has an incredibly homey feeling to it. And that's because it was a home. It was a home originally to the Kinney brothers who donated it to the town. When we arrived here, we were presented with a gift from the Palmer Garlic Farm. And so we have a basket filled with different things made with garlic. Uh, and I'm told that one of them is a garlic chocolate cookie. Hmm, it smells like garlic. Uh, Got to try it. Oh. All right. Can you taste garlic? That's amazing. Can you taste garlic? I can't taste garlic, it but okay? it's, it's good. It's yeah, very good. Really? Yeah, I can, I can take a whole bag of these. Thank you. Mm. John Christopher Hartwick came and settled here with a patent in about the 1800s and he settled with, the, he was a minister, so he set up his town and um, it, it was, there was, there's a legend that kind of goes with this with Cooperstown with um, James Fenimore Cooper. Whether it's a tale or a legend, um, they both wanted their towns to be the county seat well, the legend goes that James Fenimore Cooper got um, John Christopher Hartwick kind of tipsy. So when the morning came to get on their horses and go to Albany, he had a rough time getting up to go there. So guess who won? So um, he just settled here. He was a minister, the Lutheran minister at the college over in Hartwick Seminary, which has now moved to Oneana, where they have the actual college. Um, and it's just, that's where we got our name, was Hartwick from J um, John Christopher Hartwick. Well, it was mostly a farming area. Um, a lot of businesses, as you see in the pictures that we had, um, a lot of stores, a lot of hotels. And the big thing was the trolley. That's what drew a lot of the businesses because they had a way to get their products to and from areas. They'd bring their milk or they'd ship off stuff to other areas through the trolley. So that's how it got its big business time. But when the trolleys went away, it seemed that everything kind of started dying out again. In 1901, the trolley line connected Hartwick to Oneonta, and soon after to Cooperstown, Richfield Springs, and Mohawk. Because of the village's central location on the line, Hartwick experienced a business boom. Hotels and markets sprang up to cater to the passengers spilling into the depot. Today, the former trolley depot is still serving tourists to the region as the new home to the Cooperstown Bat Company. Here, they manufacture custom baseball bats that can be engraved and personalized for baseball teams or individual special occasions. Each bat is unique and is an actual usable baseball bat. The bats start out as a rough split of hard wood and is turned on a lathe and hand sanded until smooth. When So much more. 
The community center was originally the office and general warehouse for the trolley. It uh, was back farther originally and then it was moved to where it is today by men, horses, oxen, I'm told, to get it from where it was to where it is today. Later, it was used as a theater and the movies here were rented to them by Smalley's uh, in Cooperstown. Uh, it's interesting because back then, the admission was uh, 25 cents for adults and 10 cents for children. I came rolling down the hill Down into the Mohawk Valley Train pulled in the Union Station One passenger was I who chose to stay Drums along the river And banjos ringing in the heights Singer, songwriters in downtown We are in front of the Baptist Church on Main Street here in Hartwick at the Four Corners. Uh, some very interesting trivia about this particular church is this, that when the Emancipation Proclamation was issued, Bells all over the country rang. When the bell rang here, they rang it so enthusiastically that it was cracked. Another interesting fact about this church is that the front window was dedicated to a local choir master uh, who wrote a very famous hymn. We'll learn more about it as we go inside. Marcus Wells was an organist and choir director here and he wrote the song Holy Spirit Faithful Guide which evidently at some point in time was very popular and very well known and um, a relative of his put the window here in his memory, his honor. Well it was the first church, it's over 200 years old. This isn't the original building, the original building had box pews and a balcony and at some point in time it burned down. This building was born eight, um, made 1854 the pastor who started the church, Bostwick, him and a number of other ministers started the American Bible and Tract Society and um, printed their materials in Cooperstown. And um, that society is still up and running, it's still, still in business, doing what they do, printing Bibles and tracts and things like that. The services today are 9.30 Sunday School and 10.45 is our morning service, and we also meet Wednesday nights at 7. Half mile south of the Four Corners in Hartwick is Larry's Custom Meats. Last year, the business expanded, building a new USDA inspected processing plant. The owner takes pride in serving the small local farms, enabling them to raise their livestock and bring their meat to market. I was across the street for eight years. A lot of customers looking for other outs for their for their beef and their pigs, and with my plant, they couldn't sell anything. So I was asked many times by many customers to expand and go USDA. So, and that was the only way. If I was going to spend the money on a new plant, it had to be USDA. Uh, with a USDA stamp, with the, with the inspection, they can sell it either farmer's market or in retail stores or restaurants or whatever like that. So before they couldn't do that. Everything had to go home to their own home, in their own freezers and consumed by themselves. We circumference about a two and a half, three hour area around us, all the way down below Livingston Manor, Amsterdam, above uh, the Mohawk Valley and out towards uh, Cortland. Um, I am just now developing some of my own retail cuts, my bacon and my ham, everybody who's loved it before could never buy it, now they can. And we're opening up into uh, small grocery stores right now in, in the local area, in Sydney and Walton and, and New Berlin. Uh, as a matter of fact, this week where some of our products are going to be in there for sale. We do treat all the animals here humanely. I mean, we don't, I don't believe in, in abusing animals. Uh, I've said many times, you know, they got to die so we can eat, but they don't need to be abused so we can eat. So we, we take good care in, in making sure that the animals aren't mistreated 
and they're brought in, uh, killed instantly, slaughtered instantly, so that they, they don't suffer. And so the person that's worried about that, they got to feel good that, that an animal didn't have to go through a, a traumatic experience so they can have their lamb shot. To learn more about Larry's Custom Meats, their services, including their upcoming organic processing and their products, visit MohawkValleyLiving.com. Here's what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis. Come in and check out the exciting new 2013 Dodge Dart. Test drive this groundbreaking compact sedan with Dodge performance and style. See what's hot on the lot at Skinner and Demulis in Richfield Springs. Visit Trenton Teas, specializing in only premium quality teas, the finest varietal and herbal teas available. Nearly 100 different teas and tea accessories and scone mixes. Come in and sample Teas of Distinction at Trenton Teas in downtown Utica. Oscar's Picture Framing offers hand-finished molding and restoration of antique frames, preserving artwork, pictures, needlework, and memorabilia. Oscar's Picture Framing, Kellogg Road, New Hartford. Discover a new world of fashion made in America. Save 20% on regular priced clothing store-wide during the one-day Columbus sale tomorrow at the Village Crossing in Clinton. Call Yannick Excavating for all your residential and commercial projects, from new construction and land clearing to septic systems, driveways, basements, ponds, and topsoil. Visit YannickExcavating.com. Celebrate the season at North Star Orchards with sweet cider, fresh baked pies, and cider donuts. Add some autumn color with jumbo mums, gourds, and Indian corn. And take a wagon ride and pick your own pumpkins Saturdays and Sundays 10 to 4 at North Star Orchards in Westmoreland. Shop Shelter for handmade Adirondack furniture designed by craftsman Jim Kiefer. He works with you to create custom pieces to your specifications, from dining room and coffee tables to bookcases, beds, and bunks. Call or visit Shelter on Main Street in Old Forge. The Longaretta Law Firm, protecting your rights and advising you in matters of legal importance. Call for your free consultation, 735-6162. Expecting company? Just call Deansboro Superette. They prepare delicious Middle Eastern platters for any number of guests. Call 841-4377. Taste the homemade difference at Maria's Pasta Shop. Homemade lasagna, manigot, stuffed shells, ravioli, and more. Ready-made dinners, make it home, and party trays at Maria's Pasta Shop, Oneida Street in Utica. I can't stand it when you're not around. I don't know We hope that you enjoyed our tour of Genesee Street. I always do because it's my home street going way back to when I was a child, right up until today. Be sure to visit St. Vladimir during the Ukrainian festival and be sure to tune in next week. Between now and then, enjoy Mohawk Valley living. He steers a T-bird like you never seen, picks up the young